It's the show of the week. Hello, welcome back to Show of the Week, the weekly segment where we talk musical theater and where I wear flannel. This week, I want to talk about a musical called Now Hear This. Now Hear This is the spiritual successor to Title of Show by the quartet of Hunter Bell, Jeff Bowen, Heidi Blickenstaff, and Susan Blackwell. And, um, I covered it a long time ago. It was one of maybe the first videos on this channel, and that was back when I didn't know how to talk about analyzing musicals yet and was still figuring it out. It's really just a long video about me saying, like, listen to this song! Isn't it cool? I've learned a couple more things since then, although I am still very much figuring it out. But now here this is kind of an abstract collage of the four of them, their life experiences, but the theme that stands out most to me and the theme that I keep coming back to is the concept of bridging the gap between your creativity and your artistic expression, right? Because that is the artistic dilemma. So many people are born with this innate creativity, the ability to just synthesize and think up funny or insightful or dramatic or moving or whatever, some kind of artistic adjective things in their mind, but there's a chasm between painting it in your mind and painting it for real, or writing it in your mind and writing it for real, and taking that and turning your creative idea into something that other people can see. Because that's necessary for art, right? I tell my students that without an audience, it's just you goofing around in a room. Until you can take that idea and put it in a place where other people can see it, it's not art. And that really is the core of the musical Now Hear This. Between songs like That'll Never Be Me and one of my favorite musical theater songs, The Golden Palace, there is this discussion of that separation, that chasm, and how sometimes when you are a creative mind figuring out how to bridge that chasm, you view artistic types, movie stars, famous poets, famous playwrights as far off, as living high atop a hill on a golden palace. And that can feel so defeating and debilitating. And the point is that that's just not true. That the jump from one side of the canyon to the other is much shorter than it seems. All you gotta do is take the leap. And so when I reach my artistic funks, when I'm trying to, you know, rev up that lawnmower engine that is my creative side and my creative impression, my creative expression, when I'm trying to make the run up to jump over another chasm, it's a musical I go back to. It's a musical that helps me do that. And it's, it's effective. It's good. Now hear this. Go listen to it, and I'll see you next week. Happy holidays to you and yours. I hope you get a nice break this holiday season. Yes, we all feel the struggle of Christmas falling on a weekend, myself included, but I hope you've had plenty of time to sleep and relax and eat some good food during whatever break, whatever kind of holiday, whatever wintertime merriment you're participating in. Um, end screen, business sort of stuff. I'm getting a lot of questions about when I'm going to cover Great Comet. Spoiler alert, already have. Check out the podcast. I don't know how these new end screens work. Somewhere around here, there's a, a blooby thing you can click the go to. Jim and Tomic's Musical Theater Happy Hour, the podcast that I run where I've talked extensively about The Great Comet, including some interviews with some of the creative teams, so you should absolutely check that out if you haven't. Good. Till later.